Hi, welcome to Flight Test. Hey, what do you get when you combine this, this, and a crazy Swedish guy in a basement with no windows? That looks a little burnt. So what do you think? Is it over? We don't no. have another jet. No, we don't, but I'm gonna repair this one. And I'm gonna go get. Uh, so after the fire, what I did, I was cut off the old tail, and hot wired a new tail, and then put it on, sanded it, and painted it. And it looked really good. So this is how the EDF afterburner works. We have a butane flask that's being pushed by a servo. So it dispenses fuel into this tube here. So that in turn goes in into here. And that passes through one of these. It's just a tube that has been squished. And that's a limiter that regulates how much butane that's being passed through here. It goes into this little box here, which actually is one of these. It's just a spiral. That lets the gas turn from liquid into gas form. And why I have it wrapped in this stuff is because I have a hot wire wrapped around here. Because when I flew in really cold weather, it stayed liquid for too long. So I needed to heat it up artificially. So after that, it goes through and into the back into the B-flux ring. One of these sits on the flame holder and that dispenses the fuel in a nice circle. And then we have the stun gun that is hooked up the positive to the E-flux ring and then the negative to the exhaust tube. So that fires through a separate RC channel. I have a safety switch. This has to be in the active position. Then I have a three position switch, which is off, both gas and stun gun activated, and then just gas, because we don't want to fire the stun gun unnecessarily throughout the flight, because that can lead to interference and it actually wears down the stun gun unnecessarily. You ready to do this, David? Yeah. Okay. Let's try it. Woo! Look at that, it's real flame! It's working! Good job, David. That was awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna go around and land it. Right. Alright, well 
here with the creator, not the creator, but David, who kind of put this whole thing together. And great job, by the yeah. way. Thanks. It's pretty amazing. I, I can't believe watching the video how much your blood, sweat, tears, and also rebuilding. And blood. This thing. Yes, blood. And flames. And flames. No! No! Pull that, pull that butane. When you ignite the old version, you had to go down in throttle to get it to actually turn on, and then you increase the throttle. But what happened is, the stun gun wire was too close to a negative wire and it shot into the receiver and then into the battery. It actually locked everything, so I couldn't do anything, so I panicked. So I pulled out the battery, but the servo went too far and locked in the forward position. So while I was so basically what we're saying is don't do this at home. <laughs> no, it's even it's, though we've showed you exactly how to do it. Don't, yes, don't do don't it. Don't do it. Yeah, it's it's dangerous even if you know what you're doing. Now, when you when you originally said you were going to do this as a vampire, I thought you were crazy because it's like there's a tail right here. You're going to melt this thing to nothing. Yes. Why did you choose a vampire? There's actually an experiment from back in the late 40s okay. where they actually put an afterburner on a vampire and it looked crazy. When they put the afterburner on it, it actually created a resonance that shook the booms and the fuselage so much that it couldn't take off. It destroyed the airframe, so they never took it took it off. So are you saying you're the first person to make this happen? I, I think so. David Vindestel from Sweden. We'll Google it. <laughs> uh, actually, they ha they raised the tailplane a bit, okay. which I didn't. Okay. You can actually. <laughs> you probably should have. Yeah, uh, the servo got a little burnt, but it works. I mean, the thrust angle is fine. It yeah. works. Now, now, as far as working and stuff, things like, um, did you get any more thrust out of it? Yes, I did. I got 15% uh, more thrust. Woohoo! This plane weighs about the same. Okay but there's no landing gear on it. Okay. So I removed about 100 grams of weight. So it weighs about the same with the paint and everything. But also you have this huge thing in the exhaust which actually rubs you of power when you're not using. But it shoots a flame out the back end, so that's okay. And it sounds yeah. amazing. Yeah, it, it yes, sounds it real. The sound is what makes it awesome. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's the whole thing. And the flame looks so cool. Yeah. So how long? Does this burn? Does it go for the whole flight? Or? No, no, it's uh, it's about 60 seconds if you run it lean, if okay. you constrict it uh, a lot. Well, when we were flying in the cold, I actually increased the the flow, so I get about 40 seconds. So which do you is, always ha you always have it on continuously, or can you shut it off? You can shut it off and, and turn, turn it back, back on. on. Yeah, so it's fine. Uh, it's actually really stable now. It, every weather, it works really well with the preheat and expansion chamber. Nice. Well, now I gotta imagine you learned a lot about butane. Um, yes, I shot. did. I, I, what are they called shot stun guns. Stun guns. Yes. And are, uh, are you gonna revisit this in the future? Probably not. It was so ridiculously much work. I went through about two kilos of butane, and uh, I nearly shocked myself a couple of times. And you almost burned Chad's house down. Yes. So, this is the first, do not try it at home. Yeah. So. Let someone else burn their house down. Yes, for your entertainment. <laughs> there you go. Dave, good job, brother. You did just an amazing job. Thank you. I really like the paint job on it. It turned out really good. And thank you for your help doing the X's. I, I made, that's my input right there. Uh-huh, uh -huh. It's pretty beautiful. Thank you. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> Uh, I would like to thank Susan, Christian, and Peter Mugensen for taking me and introducing me to this stuff. Especially Peter, who really liked the vampire. And unfortunately, he passed away uh, one and a half years later, which was really sad. So, this is for you. All right, I want to thank you guys for watching. And thanks to all you guys for sponsoring Flight Test. Thank because you. when you guys go to the Flight Test store and you pick up a shirt or a speed build kit or anything like that, that's what keeps us going. And keeps us fed. That's yes, and keeps buying us butane. Yeah, okay. butane's good. good. All that good stuff. So check out the website flighttest.com and there's lots of helpful stuff on there. See you so, next time. See you later. Thank you.